technically possible, but it will be financially challenging. Released today, the football stadium feasibility study is now ready for debate. It lays out some specifics like individual seats with cup holders and a sports bar, but what really matters is the overall cost. Our Tom Vernon joins us live from the CP Rail Yard where the stadium is proposed to be built. Tom, this study is telling us that if it's done right, this stadium could become a reality. Yeah, Jill, this study in my hand right here is worth $1 million. After several months of public consultations with community groups, private stakeholders, and facilities in other communities similar to the one being proposed here, consultants found that a stadium on this lot right behind me is actually feasible. The question is now, though, how do we pay for it? This was the scene just moments ago. It was a crack. There's no question we are hardcore football fans, braving the elements to cheer on the green and white. But soon, that could all change. Three, let's take a look. Plans for a new dome stadium are becoming more clear. 33,000 seats, expandable to 53,000 for concerts. It would include an area for a sports bar in one of the end zones, a permanent Rough Rider Hall of Fame, and with just 31 events a year, it would generate a yearly profit of just over $1 million. But building the dome is not going to come cheap. The total price tag reaches $386 million, a retractable roof, an extra $45 million. Now we will look at the capital accumulation phase. We'll talk to the federal government, the provincial government, the city, and the Rough Riders to, to put uh, uh, a plan in place. Enterprise Minister Ken Sheffield-Ayoff says the provincial government will not use general revenues to pay its share of the project. Instead, the province is eyeing gaming revenues as one possible source. A lottery, for example, maybe a, a weekly lottery or something like that, where those that are really interested in, in seeing this project go forward have an opportunity to purchase a ticket and to have an ongoing revenue stream. But it's going to require more than just provincial funding. The city and Rough Riders will need to share the tab, along with a sizable contribution from the federal government. No easy feat in a time of deficit budgets. Our government is uh, fully committed towards our infrastructure uh, uh, plan uh, in terms of stimulating the economy and protecting jobs, but also with a very strong eye towards deficit reduction and moving back towards balanced budgets. So that's the context that we're, we're, we're talking about today. And it's that cool attitude out of Ottawa that has the NDP worried that Saskatchewan taxpayers may be stuck with the bill. So that leaves us to wonder in terms of the, the special relationship that uh, Brad Wall likes to ballyhoo, what benefit is that getting for the people of Saskatchewan and do they have a realistic understanding of what the feds are bringing to the table. So again, in terms of managing... Jill, no final decision has been made on whether or not to build this stadium. What Minister Shevel Dayoff said today is that we'll find out in May or June where the four parties stand as far as a funding model. Now, if it does go forward, it'll still be quite a wait before we see any football games in it. CP won't be moving out of this yard until fall 2012 when they move out to the Global Transportation Hub just west of the city. Jill. So we're back in the waiting game. Thanks very much, Tom Vernon, reporting live from the CP Rail Yard this evening. Now, as Tom mentioned, the Rough Riders will also have a funding role in the new stadium. The team would have to pay to furnish their offices and locker room, as well as pay for the practice field attached to the building. The team says the success of the last three seasons has put them in a good position to contribute. We're talking, you know, probably north of $10 million for, uh, for facilities like that. Uh, and we would fund that, uh, and we think that's fair. As for the city, Mayor Papiaco says it's too soon to know what its contribution will be, only that it will be paid for over the course of a number of years. The report is also catching the eye of key stakeholders in our city. Many have been trying for years to revitalize the downtown and warehouse districts. But will this $386 million stadium do the trick? Amanda Ferguson has more on whether the community thinks the stadium is fair game or a foul use of public funds. So it's $11, even please. Paying some green for a piece of the Rough Riders has never been a problem for fans. Thank you, sir. But it's not just a jersey on the line. Today, officials announcing the ultimate in Rider Nation memorabilia, a $386 million stadium, a possible new home of the green and white. Is a game changer, is what I would call it. And no one is more happy to have home field advantage than those in the warehouse district, the potential new home of the stadium. If we're talking about bringing more people in the warehouse district, if we're talking about having multi-use space, green space, people can come down to the stadium for a festival, walk, shop, eat, and uh, spend some time in the district, then it can certainly be a positive. The report also getting the support of the city's oldest business organization. 
Some of the questions that we were wondering about got answered. The biggest one being, uh, will a facility like this, if it's constructed, would it pay for itself? That question appears to have been answered. But not everyone is pleased with the report's answers. It still leaves the question of who will pay for what and whether taxpayers will have a say in the form of a ballot. What we think is that Saskatchewan taxpayers should have the right to decide uh, between building a new stadium for $430 million or fixing up Mosaic Stadium for $6 million. The mayor, for his part, believes he has a strong enough mandate to move forward, vote or not. I would suggest to you that if this was going to happen, the decision would be made prior to that election on, on funding. That's what council was elected to do. On your master card. Whoever pays, one thing is certain. It's going to take a whole lot of green support. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Amanda Ferguson joins us now live in the newsroom. Amanda, nearly everyone has had their say on this, but where can the public go to have their say? Jill, the provincial government has set up an online forum for people to weigh on a possible new stadium. Now, if you have an opinion, send an email to this address, stadium at cicorp.sk.ca. And for viewers that want others say right now, in just a few seconds, I'll be running to my desk.